Africa has a lot of footprints of influence from elsewhere in the world. And this is an opportunity for Africa to influence. The Columba building is permanent residency here at Nairox. It speaks into growth. It speaks into the reason why this program works. Thinking about when we build from the ground up, how will that impact the community without it being just another building project? <laughs> A lot of people from the community right here, they came with no skills. We're using local builders in the community to construct our residency, to lay our foundations, to bring up these special walls that have been designed in this place of nature to really resemble nature. In my era, the ladies, they believe that they can't do anything. They can just go do the cleaning and stuff like that because I've got nothing. But today, they've got a lot of different skills. They can even build their own home today. This is not a handout. This is the completely opposite. It will help them to dream bigger. It's amazing. <laughs> this is the way we should build all buildings so that we can benefit the community. It gives you hope. It's a good feeling to know that you can actually dream beyond your circumstances. You move them away from an environment that we may label toxic at times. You don't have bigger dreams because you're being restricted by what you were born into. You take them out of that environment and you expose them to, to quiet. You expose them to a peaceful place. You expose them to a place where they can hear themselves thinking. I think it's going to open doors to young people. It will definitely bring in them time to appreciate something out of the ordinary. The fact that it's a, a space like this, the beautiful trees, the and water, you know, you can hear birds. Future leaders will also be able to experience the art in this place, but not just the art, the ability to create something out of nothing. What's consistent is that there's a sense of self-realization. There's a sense of seeing yourself as part of something in the world. I was a reserved person. I was, uh, I lacked confidence. This resulted in me, especially studying high school, befriending, you know, people that were popular in the school, even if they did bad stuff. And once those tools have been handed to them or have been made available, they grab the tools and they show their peers what can be done. They start something and by starting something in boldness and, and fearlessness, really standing out of the crowd, it shows others that they can do the same. So I had 26% for mathematics, but by the time I got to metric, it turned actually to 80%. And by doing that, you contribute positively to society. And once they're unstoppable, then the community, they start seeing that change is possible. Ultimately, the entire country is going to be sustainable. I can't wait for the young people to, to get here. It's going to be interesting just to see young people leave and say, I was in a place that, that freed my mind. You find that starting at the cradle with young people means that there are opportunities. It's limitless. They, they can go all over the world with, with what they've attained and what they have, and they can be the best.